Savory Nature's refreshing diversions as summer unveils our exploration of two impressive natural environments begins right here at the impressive Bidilo Forest Park amid thick undergrowths and exciting monkeys which made the place famous. This is the perfect spot for a discovery of the country's natural diversity. A day full of activity at this spot keeps park manager Suleiman Job entirely busy and engaged. His demanding job includes taking care of the massive eco-network and ensuring that visitors make the most of their outing without any hitches. Let's go around the pond. We see, we see birds. My name is Suleiman Job and I am the manager. Um, this park is uh, managed by the Department of Forestry under the Ministry of Forestry and Environment. And uh, it was opened to the tourists as an ecotourism center in 1991. It is um, divided into five different, it is an area of 51.3 hectares and uh, it's divided into five different nature trails. And uh, we use colors to identify the different trails. The colors are green, red, blue, yellow, and black. Each of these colors um, stand for a trail where the, vis vis the visitors could walk and see different things such as monkeys, birds, butterflies, reptiles, including harmless and poisonous snakes. Um, the colors are marked on the trees. Here we are, we are in the green area uh, or trail. So all the trees growing within this area are all marked with green. Um, the green area is one kilometer, 400 meters one way, officially known as 1.4 kilometer. Yellow, uh, the red area is one kilometer, 400 meters one way, officially known as 1.4 kilometer. Um, 1.1 1 kilometer. Um, blue is only a kilometer, and yellow is 900 meters. So Every so trail is represented by a, a distinct color. Yeah. So, we, if visitors um, want to walk um, the green area only and return to the entrance, it takes them 30 minutes, a minimum of 30 minutes walk. But green and red and return is one hour and the whole park walk and return is two hours walk. So in this park, we have, um, apart from all animals and birds, we have two different types of monkeys. We have the green velvet monkeys and the western red colobus monkeys. Moving stiltily among tall and winding vegetation to spot a rare bird, it's easy to discern this man's special connection to the blooming natural environment. And so visitors are a sort exciting moments, discovering entertaining and compelling apes whilst getting immersed in the thick and extraordinary plant life. Yeah, a lot of monkeys, and we have been here. Well, it's a nice place to visit. Yeah. Uh, we, we were in, uh, in a pub yesterday and they took us to, to come here and to come to, to visit this. And we are, make, we are making a tour and we have come here, the, the first place uh, from the tourists in this place. Okay. We were two, two weeks here uh, five years ago. Okay. We see a lot of different now in the five years. The roads are better, better cars. No, there are a lot of countries, eh, beautiful countries in the world. But this time it's going to be the Gambia. That we're here for the second time is still more, yeah. Releasing nature's delights with his family on vacation, Robert tells me his visit to the smiling coast offered a diversity of treasured moments he will remember for a long time. Well, it's really interesting what uh, the guy told us. I mean, uh, we come from another country, so we don't have this uh, at our place. And there were a lot, a lot of monkeys, and they just eat out of your hand. It was great. Really strange, because, yeah, in Holland we don't have that. A lot of birds, strange birds, and the, the vegetation, you know, the plants and the trees, it's, uh, it's really interesting. And, uh, and our guide told us what uh, the local people do with the plants and the seeds and the herbs. So it's, it was yeah, very interesting uh, what you can do with the, the things that come out of nature. So I didn't a, know that. So it's a remarkable experience you have of trees and monkeys yes. and all the diversity here. Yes, <laughs> remarkable, yes. Well, I would like to know uh, more about the, um, the herbs, the things uh, out of nature. I mean, this is in a like a small setting, exactly. but this is like um, a small replica of the, of the, the yeah, real nature and that's yeah, yeah, what I like about it. A great diversity, biodiversity in the country. Everywhere you go presents a different spectacle. So like you said, this is a replica. Mm -hmm. As you go into the country, you'll be coming across other woodlands and forests presenting greater diversity. Yes. So tell me, uh, this group, are you going to come back again? 
Well, that's hard to say, but I don't say no. I mean, I really love uh, the country um, till so far. Is your first time in the country? Yes, my first time. How did you hear about, how do you discover this place, this, this country? Well, it's, um, I think it's on a, on the border between um, good for tourists and not too many tourists. So, tourists. yeah, it's, you decided. yeah, it's a bit like the, 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 the wild thing. I mean, it's not like uh, Spain or, ah. but still a bit wild, you know, wild. like, how do you say that? Um, undiscovered? Exotic. Exotic. Yeah, that's the right word for it, I think. Well, it's hard to say what I want to find because I don't know what there is to find, but... Ah, now I'm going to tell you because you got hippopotamus, you got crocodiles... I, I, want to see, I want to see the hippos. I want I to go on a, on, a, on a river with a, with a boat. That's that means going, yes, of course, cruising the river Gambia and going further into yeah. the interior. Yeah, maybe a ride on a hippo or... Oh. <laughs> Barracuda. Barracuda. Yeah, we want to fish uh, barracudas. Ah. Hi, I'm Lara and I'm here on holiday in the Gambia on the smiling coast. This program is brought to you by... Guys, tell me, how did this visit came to be? Uh, yeah, well, we found it on the internet. We wanted to get something hot, a nice where we could guarantee sunshine, because um, we left rain behind when we left England. <laughs> and yeah, because we, we're on honeymoon as well, we just wanted somewhere where we could rest and stuff and chill out. Honeymooners who found the Gambia online. Rodney and Liddy intend to sample every part of the country, indulging what is already a pleasurable nuptial getaway on the smiling coast. It's a happy honeymoon. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been out on the four-wheel drive, uh, visiting schools, and yeah, it's good. Lovely place. Mm. I can see now the sun is doing you real justice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we've got a tan, yeah. Good yeah. Good <laughs> yeah. By the time you leave, you're going to be all brown. Yes, really? yeah, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, you want to start brown. Yeah, really? yeah, we're going back tomorrow, unfortunately. Mm. So we've only got today and tomorrow morning, okay. and then we're heading back home. So, I mean, yeah, beautiful, uh, yeah. Uh, yes. You're just about to meet what could be the most exciting park of monkeys. Mm. When you walk inside, it will be entertaining and dazzling. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, the monkey park, who brought you here? Let, let's talk to him. What's your name? So I'm Masa Nesanya. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a guide, professional bird watcher. Professional bird watcher? You've been doing this work for how many years? I've been doing this uh, job for over 15 years now. Yeah, I didn't meet anybody uh, who wasn't uh, unpolite or uh, everybody was nice to me. So. Oh, nice to meet yeah. really. So that's some experience you're going to take home? Really? Yeah, of course. I mean, in, in Holland, uh, there are a lot of people who uh, are unpleasant mm. or, uh, yeah, so, in a bad so, mood, so, so, but uh, a lot of people are really nice. Mm. have been nice to me yeah and that's 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 nice that's nice to go here to come here because the people are nice if everybody was uh, angry or uh, disliking you then uh, you don't come back you don't come back really really and you can ask Ryu all about the Bidilo forest park on his first visit the man from Netherlands is all for the engaging character of the forest park very nice I like to be here and like you said, the nature, the, the nature uh, park is uh, beautiful. We just got in now, so you still have to go a little bit further to see the, the rest of the monkeys. Red ones, we have to be a little bit uh, careful with. Yeah, yeah, that's what he told me. <laughs> and this little guy here really loves this vacation in the Gambia. I love the Gambia. Diverse in many ways, a brimming art scene adds color to this natural environment. They are working on creative designs and this watercolor is capturing the area's beauty on easel. My specialty is painting. Painting, okay. I'm painting some, some birds and then monkeys because okay. I'm living I'm at the monkey park. You do imaginative stuff? I, 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 I do imaginative stuff. Okay. And normally when I, when I